everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about tables and arrays, mainly tables, of course, they are the same thing. Um, but um, yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, you guys. It means so much to me. About like 80% of my channel isn't subscribed, which is pretty sad. I wish I was 100k, but um, I'll, I'll deal with it because I love you guys. Um, feel free to join the Discord as well because we do help out a lot of users there. Um, like everyone who's my part of my community gets help there with their games and everything like that. So it's actually really nice. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be talking about tables. Now, um, tables are a way to store information, and they're basically just um, known as arrays. And um, you're basically able to find anything in the table and check if it's there or not. And you'll be able to remove things, store a lot of data, everything like that. So it's actually really nice because you can do so many things. Now, I'm going to be um, demonstrating to you a lot of ways you can use tables and a lot of ways you can um, basically, you know, uh, work with them now there are arrays which are basically kind of the same thing um, it's hard to explain really but um, I'm gonna show you here quickly in a second so let's actually get straight to this all right so there's a lot of ways you can use tables now if you haven't watched my other videos I'd recommend going watching about scripting because um, it will help you out a lot and yeah so we're gonna get started with some easy stuff so this table we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna call it my first table um, pretty simple. Oh gosh, guys, if I can spell today. Um, and you're going to be using uh, these brackets right here, and you're going to say anything like this. So we're going to just go off of mine because, you know, why not? Um, I actually wrote this down just in case, so might as well just use it. All right. Okay, something like this. So this is your first table. Now, if we were to go right here and we are going to print my first table, we will be getting our whole table. Um, now, you can do a lot of stuff. So if we do five right here, so if we look at the values, okay, this is an index value table. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, you're basically able to print everything how you want it. Um, it it's really nice with tables because you can print the whole thing. You can print uh, the index value. You can print a lot of stuff. So, oh, actually, let me just go right here. Hit run. All right. So we're going to get orange and apple because, of course, uh, apple is the second index, and then the fifth one is orange, and then we're going to go down here, and we're going to get all of the tables. So that's what's really nice about tables is because it stores a lot of information, and you're able to use it for many things like player data, IDs, and all this kind of stuff, which we talked about in my other past videos, so it's really nice. So there is a lot of things you can do. There is table.insert, table.remove, and table.find. Now, there are also way more, but um, as you can tell, so this is all of the table things you can do, which is crazy because I don't even know half of this. Like, for each, I don't even know what that is, which is really crazy. But we have table.insert, which is going to be super simple. So once you do table.insert, you're going to do my first table because you want to get the table, and you're going to do anything. You could literally say false right here. You could do anything you would want. Now you can do table.remove, and then you could do my first table, and then you could say one like this. So, um, how this basically works is table.insert will insert something to the table, table.remove will remove something, and then um, we forgot to actually print it out, which let's do that real quick. Um, let's do that, there we go. And um, table.find will find something in the table. So, as you can tell, we have false right here and of course one didn't go through because you should honestly um, I think you can if I'm right let's see here I've never done this right this yeah you will be able to just remove it like that so um, sorry and if you wanted to you can do it here and do that so it should remove the true oh no I'm wrong go like that and that should just remove the index of the table so um, the reason which is really good um, so table so this right here actually I'm gonna keep this open just in case so if we were to do table.find Basically, what table.find does is, um, let me just type this right here, and then we could say, uh, let's say apple, like this. So, what it does is it finds the index position of the element, and it returns nil if there is no element in the table. Basically saying nil as in it's non-existent. If it is, then it is there. Now, um, as you can tell, it, it is going to find uh, apple because that is there. Um, so, it didn't error out, which is nice. Now, um, one thing we can really do and uh, what I was going to talk about is use your ID. So if we were to make an actual server script, something like this, so local players, 
um, equals, uh, you know, no, we're actually, yeah, local players equals, and then we're going to go like this, and you could create a list. So this is a table right here. And if we were to put my ID, which um, I am going to actually grab my ID real quick. By You can go to your profile, by the way, and grabbing this. Um, so grab my ID. And we're going to put that right there. Now to put more table numbers, you just do comma and then keep going on and on and on, which is really nice. So we're going to grab that number right there. And then we are going to do a few things. So we could do um, if, oh, I'm going to do this. So uh, let's do this. So local players equals, oh, no, no, no. Player. let's just do that sorry actually let's do this <laughs> game dot players dot player added connect function player da 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 if table dot find uh players okay so we're checking players comma player dot user id then print we found the owner twin place else which we just talked about print no we did not find twin place <laughs> so Basically, we just talked about if statements in the last video, but now we're combining table into it. So this is pretty nice. So if I were to click um, play right here, it's going to check in that table. And if it finds me, then it is literally going to print out that we found the owner twin plays. So like it just did, because yes, we have twin plays right here, which is really nice. And there we go. So that's a great example of... Um, using this so I, I thought you guys would like that as a little tutorial but um yeah nothing too crazy so there are many ways you can use this you can do things like this you can say local table equals um let's just do this so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go right here we're gonna go name equals uh twin plays comma uh points equals 20 comma and then we'll just say you know first or something like that then you could do anything and you could print table um dot name so like this um oops i didn't mean to do that table like that dot name because it's going to go inside and find that name you could go print and then you could go table oh my gosh keep doing like that and we can go uh points so we actually want to go like this there we go see that points right there and then you can go print um you know you can go one actually no let's just do this right here so now, if I were to hit run, it's basically going to uh, print out what we wanted right here. So, twin plays and 20. So, that's that's another great example of doing this. Um, now, I think if I was going to talk about arrays or just, um, yeah, basically arrays, we were going to talk about uh, how you can print out what's like, how, how many things are remaining. Um, I found another script online, which is actually kind of nice. Um, and I'm on, honestly, I'm just going to put it on screen right now because this will show you an example of what you can do so let's actually um pause this video and i'll write this in real quick all right so this is kind of a great example now we're going to be talking about wow true do scripts and um for loops in the next few videos so stay tuned for that so this is just an online script and it's nothing too crazy it's just talking about um how many zombies are in workspace which we don't have anything right now so we don't need to worry about that but it's basically going to check if they're in workspace, and if they are, then we're going to do, uh, we have a count that's called living, and we're going to basically um, check if their humanoid health is greater than zero. So, we're going to check if they're still alive, and if they are, then we're going to be printing out how many times they're alive. Now, this is basically returning um, returning an array of how many zombies are alive. Um, now, there are, like I said, there are lots of ways you can use arrays and um, tables, so... It's kind of the same thing, really, um, but this is just another example. Now, we can do a lot of other stuff, but uh, I think this is just a good ex um, a good way of showing everything. Now, if we wanted to do something like changing a part in Workspace, it actually wouldn't be too hard. We would want to, um, you could create a table, like local parts, and you could create something like this, and you could go Workspace, and then you would have to put the part. It's going to be, there's no part right now. And you could create a local function and you could do like part right here and you could go like part dot brick color equals brick color dot random something like that and then you could do a lot of other stuff so if we were to create this right here um, I will have to talk about this layer because I want you guys to learn more about it um, basically what we are going to do is uh, we are going to um, send the part through. We are going to uh, change the property of it, that one in workspace. And um, yeah, so 
that that's kind of a good example of um, what I'm trying to uh, say. Now, um, oops, I did pair part like this. Um, but yeah, so tables can store a lot of stuff, and you can do a lot of with it. So I hope this helped you out, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. We are going to be talking about modules. And then after that, we are going to be talking about for loops, while loops, breaking loops, and random. So there's a lot coming. I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. Uh, peace out, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.